Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We are five days a week. We are seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Create new agreements based on respect and love. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those you love. If the agreement doesn't work, change that agreement and create new ones. Use your imagination to explore all the possibilities. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 32, Nasdaq's off 73, S&P's down 12, gold. Gold contract down $8.40, trading at 1763 an ounce. We got silver down 20. No, so gold is up 840 at 1763. Silver is up 29 cents at $21.41. Light sweet crude up $1.18, $78.42 a barrel. Notes, <coughs> excuse me, folks. Notes and bonds. 10 year note down eight ticks, trading 112.21. The 30 year is down 22 at 126.23. And you get the 10 year right now, 3.75. That's the yield on the. 10 year and king dollar king dollar is up 100, uh, 166 ticks trading 106 847 the euro is at 103 the yen is at 138.72 and the british pound is at 119 to 1 us dollar our phone number is 877-927-6648 give us a call folks want to know what's going on in your world in the world of the s and ps let's take a look at them what do you have well bottom line we take a look at this out here you get a pullback, and it's light volume again. You know, yesterday we did uh, 68 million shares. It doesn't even look to me like we're going to do 68 million shares. So we're going to have some divergence out here. And the divergence specifically is that the S&P, um, you know, looks to me like it wants to bounce, okay? And, that, and the NASDAQ doesn't. <laughs> That's the bottom line. When you come down with this much light volume, it's like, okay, man, you know, we'll see how this shakes out. But I suspect, you know, I'm going with the NASDAQ that we're going to go lower. And the reason, folks, uh, is it has to do with more than just the NASDAQ. I'll show you what's happening here. So, so when you take a look at the S&P, the S&P is saying that, hey, man, you're coming back with way too much volume, little light volume, and that should go higher. That being said, though, the NQs aren't. The NQs, right now, we get 29 million shares. We'll end up doing like 50 million. Yesterday, we did uh, 38 million. Uh, you're coming into the swing point. Now, the swing point has 55. It's not, it's not, we're not going to do more than that, but we are in the lower range. Once you get in the lower range, it's like this game is on here. And the lower range inside the queue started at 284. You can see we're already four points into it. And, you know, the bottom, the bottom of this range actually is 259. But my take is we're not going there. I think we're going to fill the gap. And that'll, that's, that'll get people nervous enough. Trust me. You fill that gap down there at that uh, 260. 8.56 to be like, okay, man, are you going to blow this thing out, meaning on the way down? Because what does happen is that as you get accelerations on the way down, the first couple of days can be slow, and then all of a sudden it blows it out. Gold. We take a look at the gold contract out here. Gold contract went to higher price out here today. The volume's fine. You know, this is where we're rolling the contracts. And we look at this volume, the volume looks fine. Now, this is what, when you roll contracts like this, folks, what you want to wrap your head around a bit is that, the, you know, yesterday we go down with uh, 129,000 contracts, they up with 122. So what I do there is then I go to the GLD and say, talk to me, man, because the bottom line is that that's the correlation, okay? And we go to the GLD, what you're going to see is that we did 2.1 million shares, which is light volume extraordinaire. Yesterday we went down with 4 million. This looks to me like it's setting up a small ABC down, which that's kind of where I'm at. And the reason I'm at that is... Twofold. The first part of that is that we had a great run off the, the, the lows. I mean, the, the GLD went from 150, let's see, on how many days? 150 November 3rd up to 166, okay? So you went up 16 bucks, you went up 10%, and basically uh, three, six, and 10 days, right? So that means, that, you know, that just says, okay, it's time for a pullback. The way this is set up right now, you know, you get plenty of the, the first leg, let me take this, go through this this way. So the first leg, once you, the beginning of one gap is 161.80, no, 161.51. I suspect it's going to get into that gap. And maybe we hold, maybe we hold where that strength is at the 159, you know. And here it comes, and it's all about this dollar. This dollar looks to me, 
like this baby wants higher price. This is a nice little setup. I mean, you come down, you're hard and fast on the way down. You know, we made a low. The first low that we made out there was uh, November 15th. That went down to the 107, 105.34. Did a small bounce. Then we got to the 105.32, a rejected lower price, which makes sense. I mean, because you get, you know, when we look over this side, you're going to see this is where the strength was. That, that was strength from July 5th. Okay, big bar. You look at that big bar, you tested it. This is kind of like a classic technical analysis setup. Then you go higher. Well, when you go higher, the first place you got to go is the 0.382. And we'll see if that's where it's going to go. If you go to that 0.382, we'll see whether it goes to a 50, 0.50. And I suspect what we're going to have here, no matter how many times it seems that, uh, you know, Powell is telling us uh, what is going on, <laughs> uh, meaning that. The market keeps wanting to go higher, and the Fed keeps saying, hey, we're going to go longer, uh, for higher, for longer. So, hey, we'll see where this shakes out. Powell's talking tomorrow, uh, and, you know, hey, we'll, we'll see where it's at. I expect that what, you, what, we, what we do have is this. There's not going to be another 0.75. There's going to be a 5.0 in December, probably a 5.0 in January. But the kicker here is not going up five or a half a percent twice. The kicker is that the economy already is basically, you know, slowing down. Uh, if you want to see something that's really wild, check this out, man. This is, this, I saw this come up this morning, and this says it all. And we're going to get into this as soon as we come back. So the Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac mortgages in certain cities just went over $1 million, folks, okay? Can you check it out? So you get a million dollar Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac for single families. For everyone, the limit now is up to 726. So you, <laughs> this is like, this is like, this could, this could be all, we could talk about this for a whole hour. I mean, that means, it's, so picture, 726 FHA, that means you can get into a, a $726,000 house for 14,000. Closing costs will probably be 24, but you make them pay the closing costs. Stay right there, folks, come right back.